Hi guys, so how are you? Everyone, I'm in so noisy. I'm here in Dartford and I'm driving mom over to the little cafe and it's beautiful. That's beautiful. Parang ano, sa probinsya namin, we call it sapa. So, ilog. Parang ilog. Pero maliit siya. Dito, ang tawag nila dito is stream. So, this is a stream. It's not a river. Sometimes nga, kanal nga yung tawag nila. <laughs> Tapos, uh, this is the parking space. And then, um, they have a parking over here for um, disabled parking bay. So they do park over here. And it's free for a maximum of three hours without return. Nice, diba? Punta tayo doon, guys, kasi mom that didn't message me yet. So she's not yet ready to go home. So we can go walk that bridge over there. So yung mga parking space nila dito guys, may mga ano na, may mga um, electric car charger. So mga, mga parking areas nila. So we're going to that bridge. Sayang na, hindi ko dinala yung tripod ko. Um, today is Thursday. And I have work tomorrow. I'll be working in the reception. So, while we're here, we might as well do Chica Chica. Also, um, so, that's the bridge. Then we go around the bridge. Hulog, ayan. So, baka para makapag Chica tayo. Wala na may tao eh. So, anyway. Bukas, bukas yung first year anniversary when I started working. So it's the same time of the year. And it's the first year na, na din na uh, when the queen died. So, so far, so far it's good guys. And uh, little update na rin sa habang nag, nagkukwentuhan tayo. Nag, hindi pala nagkukwentuhan ako kasi ako lang yung nagkukwento. Anyway, since it's my first year tomorrow, I'm gonna update you as well sa aking ano, uh, study. As you all know, yung mga hindi pa alam, huwag nyo palang pansinin yung kamay ko guys, may paso ako sa ano ko, daliri ko, yung dalawa, itong dalawa. May ano siya, I burned it when I was cooking. Yung hindi pa, eh, when you're cooking and then you're not watching where your hand is going and then, ah! Anyway, tomorrow, Yung ano ko pala guys, yung update pala sa studies ko. So, if you don't know, I'm doing um, dental nursing. I'm a dental nurse student. So, when you applied for a job guys, over here, as a trainee dental nurse, you'll be, you'll be working while studying. So, um, some of the procedures that you're doing in the practice, you will have to write it down. Um, what you do, what all the other stuff because uh, following the books guys. Okay, so the procedure, we follow the books we write it down and then we write down the um, for example not the patient details we don't put, we just put like male 50 years old for instance and we put uh, for example extraction of the whatever which tooth and then the instruments you use uh, during the procedure what you do during the procedure and then overall then after that you will have the signature from the dentist uh, regarding the procedure so you will just put um, uh, the name your name and then the procedure and then the patient which is you will uh, choose if it's adult elderly or special needs or children and then and then you will have the signature and then the the dentist will order 
the dentist or the GDC registered nurse will take the there's um questions that they have to answer as well not answer literally like they will just check or tick the boxes if you did it like did, uh, did the student follow the protocols did the student do um, uh, follow the PPE procedure or or anything anything about the procedure if you're doing the right thing and if you're doing something that needs to be improved you only will have to write it down as well like oh for example for example guys oh Gwen is not very confident in the procedure she's not she doesn't recognize the name of the instruments and all that kind of stuff so they will write it down and then they will sign and then you can't edit it it will just be saved and then you can attach it to your uh, requirements to your course requirements like a module it's like a module that you have to complete all the required um, procedure that you need to to be able to do or if you haven't done it you still have to write um, stuff about it for example in my surgery where I work um, tawag nila dito is surgery guys um, sa atin is dental clinic or something pero dito tawag nila is dental, dental, dental surgery or dental practice so we only have private and NHS dentist and we don't do surgeries we have to refer the patients if they need surgery or extraction of the wisdom tooth and it needs to be in surgery or a patient that needs to be sedated to get the procedure done you know some patients are nervous and they don't like needles or stuff like that they need to be sedated doing all my assignments um, the deadline of completion for the for the ROE we call it the record of experience that's all the 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 procedure that you need to complete so I finished all that our deadline was September 15 and I finished it before September starts um, so now that I finished it I'm now preparing for the exam so our, our exam will be on November 3 and I do hope that I will pass on that exam I need to read a lot and study more because there's still a lot to learn guys so that's what I'm focusing now and if I pass that exam then I will be preparing for the next set of exam which will be this coming April I think but if I fail that exam I have to retake the exam and it will be on January that's the next set of exam and if I fail that again I don't know what's gonna happen guys but I'm not sure I don't want to think about it I just hope that I will pass the exam the first time but you know things could happen uh, the, the way they ask questions is a bit tricky so it's just you have to understand the question that is asked and hopefully I will I will be able to so far I'm, I've been practicing answering question and answer but no it's not doing good guys anyways well, fingers crossed we we'll just have to do our best and how how's my job um, so far so good you know if you watch my first video I was so nervous back then every time I go to work I feel so nervous I couldn't sleep properly because I'm scared in a way you understand what I mean anyway guys I was scared back then because whoever I'm working with I feel scared because of course I don't know them personally so I have to get to know each one of them and for dentists for instance I noticed that of course they don't like to work they will not say it but you can feel it they don't like to work with someone new because if you're new then you you're still getting used to the procedures you're still getting used to the routine and when they ask you some stuff for example get me the uh, matrix band and then you don't you might say oh, what's matrix band where do they put it and all those things so it will delay the procedure so NHS dentists they are on um, 
um, a, a schedule like exam usually lasts for 15 minutes and um, for example filling you know yung pasta magpapasta ng ipin they usually last for 30 minutes or more depending on how big the caries is and if you're working if the dentist is working with a student and you are quite new like me i was new i was getting used to where they put stuff and what they call those things that they use so the dentist will be behind schedule because they will be asking like what is that where do you, where, where would i put it how do we how do we mix these things and all these things so ayaw nila kung, kung pwede lang sila maka choose but that time they don't have a cho choice because if, if, if they don't work with me they don't have a nurse and they can't work on their own they have to have a nurse because you, for for your safety as well legal legally you need to have a witness if something goes wrong patient complains then you have someone to to back you up what's happening you understand what I mean anyway those months are gone back on the days I used to get scared I always get anxious to start the day the next day and then I will check who am I working with some dentist I would feel like uh, I'm not so comfortable working with her some dentists are strict you know they have this reputation that they are you know harsh so of course you get scared and nervous but now now that I'm almost a year I would say that I'm confident now I don't feel scared anymore unless I'm working with a new dentist and I will get a little bit anxious again but not as bad because I already know the procedures I know the instruments and I know the drills so I don't I don't get anxious anymore um, I just get a little bit nervous which is a bit normal but not as bad as before so I would say now I'm getting better <laughs> and most of the nurses I work with now in our practice are new we have one um, registered nurse and three of us are student nurses and I would say that I'm pretty comfortable now with with my work and when if ever if ever I pass the exam I would like to continue learning and studying to be uh, to upgrade my my title for example if I'll be registered dental nurse I would like to study more to be qualified to take um, x-rays and then I would like to work in the theater nurse as a theater nurse um, that means to be working in hospitals for example um, assisting operations minor operations or major operations in the mouth so that could be excessional biopsy incessional biopsy or removing the tooth uh, roots of the tooth and all that kind of stuff I find it a bit more challenging because when I was doing nursing back in the Philippines I really wanted to work in the theater so it's either going to become a dental theater nurse or I would like to be an orthodontic dental nurse or implant nurse you know the sp not not the basic one I would like to upgrade or I want to study to be a um, dental hygienist it's not a nurse you'll be the one cleaning you know those people who cleans the teeth they are uh, dentists can clean the teeth but there are a profession specifically to to clean the teeth or they call themselves therapists so I want to do that as well and that will take like two years to study so I'm gonna look into that one so for now I'm gonna focus on my dental nursing passing the, the exam and then we'll go from there so there you go <laughs> now I'm telling you when my exam but oh I don't know if I'll pass guys you need to pray for me <laughs> and we'll just do our best and we'll update you more next time if you have any questions and I noticed that there's few people who are asking questions in my dental nursing uh, video previously a year ago if you have any more questions feel free to message me on, on YouTube 
and unfortunately I don't usually check my my Facebook the other one I rarely checked it so I might have missed some messages and it's kind of busy guys being a mom and being a wife and working and keeping up with your friends and all the other stuff so sorry if I neglected my viewers I hope you're doing all the good I miss watching my YouTube friend but one day one day we'll get there when we don't have to worry about exams and then I can do more videos um, that's it for now guys I'm gonna head back to the car because here we go we're going on the other side of the park we came from there and we walk all the way around so we're going over there and then comes out to the parking spot where we parked so I think we're gonna walk on the grass guys because I'd rather work in the grass anyways what's the advantage of working in the dental practice I would say that since I work there and I've known few people who are like mga classmates ni Luke ba yung mga uh, friends ni Luke mga parents some of the parents over here they are not registered with the NHS because over here guys in the UK um, dental dental check up and stuff like that are good if you are uh, registered with the NHS dentist then it would be less expensive if you are registered for example if you have I uh, know if you have a tooth decay and then you need a checkup and you're registered with the NHS dentist then you will just get a schedule book an appointment and then once you're booked and then you get the x-rays done the checkup done and it's confirmed that you have a tooth decay what they will do they will book you for another appointment and then they will do a filling but if you're not registered with the NHS filling would cost like 100 plus so nakaka advantage talaga if if registered ka sa NHS kasi pag filling siya guys it will only cost um, 70 pounds 70 for band 2 kasi may parang may ano siya band band yung yung ano yung mga treatments so kunwari may ano ka uh, dalawang ipin na kailangan i-fill kailangan siya pastahan it will only cost you 70 pounds 70 and usually hold on lagay ko muna kayo sa car maybe I'll do another video with that but cause mom is coming out soon I think she is, she said she's ready when I'm ready and I said I'm already in the car waiting when she's ready be safe everyone and see you in our next one bye